Oh, Dylan, um, we've taken a rest day yes. and the morning. And we had to. Yeah, legs are still a bit, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's better now. Yes. We're on day three of the hunt. We're going to go with the afternoon session. Mm -hmm. Still have about two, three hours of daylight left. Yeah, we moved. Some time. You, you guys suggested we move to an area where we can find bushback, yes. bushback as well as Elan. Bushback also. Yeah. Um, so we're on a property where there's um, you know some nice thickets for the for the bushback and, and yeah, and some like riverines and yes, so forth. So that's right, that's right. That'll be the plan for the afternoon. It's so plan for the afternoon. So hopefully we can bump into something. Yeah. We've been working hard, um, putting yeah. in the time, the miles. The vegetation is quite thick here as well. Yes. So, but we'll we'll um, we'll try and get a get a get a get a feel of the wind and. Uh, Try and walk a bit upwind and hopefully we can bump a, bump a hill on the head or find some good tracks. Yeah. Um, tomorrow morning I think we'll we'll you know start again with, yes. with some tracks around the water and right, so yeah. forth. But I think this afternoon let's get a feel of the wind, take a two hour stroll and see what happens. That's the plan. Alright, let's head off, let's go. Stefan, how do you feel about your shot? Dylan, I'm not so sure. Eh? It was a little bit of wobbly <laughs> on the sticks. It was a it was a quick shot, but um Again. Yeah, I just felt that it you know it, I yeah. may have pulled it a little bit towards the back, so okay. we can give it 10 to 15 minutes. It is a 375. The shot wasn't further than 100, so no, I mean the animal reacted good. Yes. He turned and he and he, and he ran. I was just I was so 
I didn't look through the bino, but you said you saw the you saw I, the shot. I saw the impact behind the shoulder. I think it's just quartering towards towards us a little bit. Uh, I felt it was a bit far back, but you said it's cool. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But let's give him time. It is a bush buck. Uh, yeah, let's give him time. He went, he went into that there where the he was feeding into the open and into yes. that that um, that into thick that area thick where the river is. So that's right. He went in there with a with with quite a so let's just give him a little bit of give time. Him a little bit of time and then we'll take it slow from there. Okay. okay. Alright. <laughs> yes, it's oh. <laughs> Well spotted, man. Number three. Yeah, it's well number spotted. three. <laughs> Listen, well spotted in that clearing. And um, it looked like an old ram from here. It looks quite worn down. Hmm. Let's have a look. You did check him, man. Eh? Yeah, I did check him. Stack him again if you want to. Shot was a little far back, but um, I think with the angle, the angle saved me. <laughs> yes, Dali. Yes, we got him. One, yeah, fun. <laughs> we got him, man. We got, yeah. him. we got him. Yes, just look at this, eh? Yes, he's old. Look how worn down he, the one horn is. Yeah. When I first oh. saw him, I thought, yes, you know, is he, <laughs> um, is he big enough? But you quickly, you quickly get him, um, you know, confused with with the hornlings, with a, with a with an old bushbuck like this. That's I didn't thing. see the. The detail on the horns. Yeah, the first thing that I saw was the, the thick bases and the thickness of the horns coming through. And check here the, the scars here on yeah. the. It's also been around. No, no, definitely. It's same as that Kurubal. <laughs> same as that Kurubal, and that's just how it goes. Eh? I mean, yes. this afternoon we we planned and said, now listen, we're gonna we're gonna try for for Ireland. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's a. Uh, that's how it goes. We we knew there was some good bushbuck in this that's dry old river beds. This time of the year, the yes. water is gone. And that's the nice thing about this uh, this area that we're at. Um, you know, it, it gives you an opportunity for different species, um, especially the things that we're looking for. Yeah. Um, yeah we, haven't, we haven't seen one eel on. Haven't seen we haven't one seen eel one eel on track, <laughs> and uh, we stumble upon this guy. Listen, yes. Dylan. Okay. We're gonna try and put him up here. The sun is, I think the sun is oh, the down. The sun is almost down, yeah. Yeah, we did give him 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. My gut feel was alright, but I think the angle saved me. He was down within yes. 100 paces. Yes, it's lucky. And, and uh, they can become yeah. a nightmare, but. What a magnificent old man, man. Battle scars and so forth. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. <laughs> Well, Stefan, same as before, late afternoon. It looks like our luck, it's uh, when our lucky time is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why we get out of bed so early. <laughs> but um, yeah, yes, Dylan, what a magnificent old ram. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just look at those, look at those worn down tips. Uh, Andre, our cameraman, mentioned just now, he said this ram might have been one and a half, two inches longer Definitely. some years ago, but 
I think, you know, for any for any hunter, once you get the opportunity on an old old animal like this, I mean, it's it's just so special. So, it is. It is. Old. And and the bushbuck is one of you know, it's like an old buffalo bull. Yes. Um, character sometimes, you know, makes makes much more of a trophy. And, and, no, and to it, me, it is. And you can see on him, uh, you know, his, his basis is worn down. He's yeah. thick right through. He's, He's old. Yeah, yeah. thick and right through. No ivory tips. That's been worn off. Yeah. Um, and in a beautiful condition. It's a big yes. ram. It's quite heavy in the body. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. And he's got a thick neck. I mean, it's just a beautiful animal. I mean, bushbuck are one of my favorite animals to hunt. And, yeah. And, um, because they are, they. It is a challenge. Yeah, they're so unpredictable. It's <laughs> exactly it. there. So, no. Listen, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> we uh, yeah, we three quarters good. of the way through with our uh, with our spiral slam. It's yes. been a challenge up to here. Yeah. yeah. We've been working. <laughs> yeah, but, um, but that, the that's, rewards are showing. So. That's the ones you remember. So. Definitely. Yeah, we'll we'll continue. The sun is down already. Yeah, is down Take some nice photographs and uh, have a good night's rest. Definitely. Have some cold ones around the fire and uh, and and just enjoy this wonderful bushbuck. And then we'll be we'll be up bright and early tomorrow morning. Yep. Looking for some Elon tracks. Looking for some Elon. Luckily, it was only the Elon that we have to focus on now, but <laughs> yeah. still a challenge in itself. It's been it's been a few days on the Elon tracks with no luck, but that has to change now. Dylan, yes. from my side, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for tuning in to our Africa Sportsman Show and yeah this is what it's all about. Old Bush by Graham in the Limpopo. Millie Safaris. Thanks Dylan. <laughs> thanks. thanks.